Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel AT Commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about cart settings for checkout. So let's see how can we do cart settings for checkout. So switch to the project and let's open the cart component class file. So for that just go inside the app directory, then HTTP, LiveWire and from here just open cart component.php file. And inside this file, uh, let's create a function for checkout. So after this function, after uh, this remove coupon function, uh, let's create a new function, public function and function name, uh, let's say function name is checkout. Alright, and inside this function, uh, let's check uh, user is logged in or not. So add here if condition, then auth colon colon call here the check method check if user is logged in uh, then return and redirect add here the route and route name which is checkout okay if user is logged in then redirect on checkout page otherwise Add here the else part and if user is not logged in then return and redirect on login page okay so write here route and route name login okay and now let's import this auth so here uh, just write use auth Okay, this one illuminate support charts or this one. All right. Okay. Now save this file. Now uh, go to the cart component view file. So from resources directory, resources views, uh, live wire, and from here just open cart component dot dot php file. Okay, and inside this file. Uh, let's find the checkout link so after this for each uh, inside this summary uh, summary div checkout okay you can see here this is the checkout link okay uh, this button now inside this link uh, let's call this function uh, this checkout function okay so just copy this function name and uh, inside this anchor tag after this uh, first remove this on uh, checkout.html and uh, put here has sign and after this just write here wire colon uh, click action click dot prevent equal to uh, function name which is checkout all right okay this time uh, cart is empty okay uh, when if cart is empty then just uh, hide this cart summary and uh, this checkout button okay so uh, for that just add here the if uh, if directive uh, before this div okay after this main cart area uh, and before this div add here at the rate if and uh, cart colon colon instance all right and add here the instance name cart then call here count method count if cart instance cart uh, count is greater than zero uh, then render this uh, this div and uh, also this summary div and after this um, this is summary div okay and after this just close here the if directive okay at the rate 
in div and before this also add the else part else and inside the else part uh, let's display a message so add here a div, div and set the class text center and also add uh, some padding style padding at pixel top and bottom and left right zero and inside this div uh, just add here a message your cart uh, h1 tag your cart is empty all right and also add your p tag add item items to it now okay now add here a link for soft page anchor tag href uh, add here link slash shop and also add the class btn btn success all right and now just close this anchor tag and add here a text shop now all right okay now save this file and now let's check this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page now you can see here uh, the message your cart is empty because in cart there is no any product okay all right now switch to the project and uh, go to the cart component class file and inside this file uh, let's create another function uh, public function and function name uh, let's say function name is set amount for checkout okay and inside this function uh, first check here if station uh, edge coupon if session has coupon p then create a session uh, session and create a key put add here the key checkout and inside this just pass here an array and inside this array uh, add here discount arrow dollar this arrow discount if session has coupon uh, key then uh, inside the checkout session just add the discounted price okay so add a discount is equal to uh, arrow uh, dollar this arrow discount okay and the subtotal discounted subtotal so right here dollar this arrow subtotal after discount okay then tax dollar this arrow tax after discount and for total dollar this arrow total after discount this one okay and now add here the else part if is not available then uh, put the value inside the checkout session uh, just add here the default amounts okay default default price so let's copy this and inside this else part just paste here and uh, inside the discount just add here zero zero discount and for sub subtotal just add here the cart colon colon instance 
and add here the instance cart and call the subtotal function sub total this one and for x cart colon colon instance uh, instance cart and call the x function and for the total cart colon colon instance cart and uh, arrow total function alright now inside the render method after this and before this return and just call here this function dollar this arrow and just call uh, this function uh, set amount for checkout okay so dollar this arrow set amount for checkout all right okay now save this file all right all settings are done uh, related to the checkout inside the cart component okay now let's check take this so switch to the browser and just refresh the page all right cart not found in component uh, inside this file uh, Okay, just remove this dollar this. Here is the mistake. Okay. Now save this file and check again. So just refresh the page. Alright. Now you can see here the checkout link is not showing. So let's because the cart is empty. So let's add some product inside the cart. So uh, click on shop now. And from here, let's add some product to the cart. So click on add to cart. Okay. Uh, one product inside the cart and you can see here the checkout link. Okay. Uh, this time, uh, you can see here the uh, no any user is logged in. Okay. So if I click on checkout link, uh, it must redirect me on login page. Okay, so just click on this checkout link. And now you can see here it sent me to the login page. Okay, now let's enter the user credential, uh, user email ID. So write here user at the rate user.com and password. And now just click on login. Okay, uh, user is logged in. Now click on cart. And this time uh, user is logged in and uh, this time I, if I click on this checkout link, it will redirect uh, me on checkout page. Okay, and you can see here the checkout page. Alright, so in this way you can do cart settings for checkout. Next two videos we will see checkout with cash on delivery option and checkout with debit card and credit card option using a Stripe payment gateway. Okay, so that's all about card settings for checkout. So thanks for watching this video. And if you still have any kind of question, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.